What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men of Tech. So today I have some exciting news for you. So if I go into the settings and go to software update of my iPhone 6s that I have here, you can see that we have a new software update and it's iOS 14 developer beta 4 and as you can see for my iphone 6s right here it comes in at around 485.3 megabytes so let's quickly update to this um ios 14 developer beta 4 and see what are the major changes and features that come with this update now it's also important to mention that at the time of this recording apple is still rolling these updates out and they just were released like 30 minutes ago so keep in mind that you might not be able to see it right away and by the time you watch this video other updates might be out so let's quickly update and see what are the major features and changes that came with the update here okay so our device is now updated ladies and gentlemen as you can see we've updated our device to ios 14 developer beta 4 and upon unlocking the phone you can see that we have uh, a fixed widget my weather widget here that you see here was first of all blacked out when i updated on beta 3 and it's good to see that that is fixed however the one that was working this one you can see that it's you know it's like it wants to process data but it's just stuck like that so hopefully that will be fixed so let's just go into the settings and go to software update you can see that this is the latest available software version and that is ios 14 developer beta 4 that we own and if we go into general and go to the about section you can see that the software version that we have here has changed we now have one 8A5342E. Now, this software version has an E at the end, and so it's more stable than what we had on beta 3. On beta 3, we had an F, and what this means is that you know we are getting closer to the final build version. And then, if we scroll down a little bit just to see the modem firmware, you can see that it's more or less the same. The modem firmware that we have here, as you can see, is 8.00.00, so that never changed from the previous version and i honestly didn't have any issues that have to do with wi-fi bluetooth or cell so that is good and if we see the storage available you can see that the storage we have available is 52.92 gig and that is more or less the same with uh, what we had on beta 3 before updating you might see a slight variation in megabytes but you can see that there's no significant increase and if we go back and go to iphone storage uh, it just takes a moment to load and then if you scroll all the way down you can see that on beta 4 is taking 6.87 gig and that is the same as it was taking on beta 3 and then if you see other storage right there you can see that it's taking 3.4 gig and basically on beta 3 it was taking 3.1 gig so it just increased by 100 megabytes which is normal and you know it's nothing big or it's not a drastic improvement now let's quickly see some of the new features that came with this update after updating to ios 14 beta 4 now first things first you can see that you know my widget was fixed and speaking of widget if we were to go to the widget section right and then hold on any widget and then say um, edit a home screen and add the plus there you can see that you know on the list of widgets that we have we now have an apple tv widget so if you use apple tv you now have a widget for it i don't really use it but you can see that you have also three sizes of that widget and that is good that you can be able to resize this apple tv widget now let's just add it and see if it works just to see you know for the sake of it right and then let's add it to the home screen perhaps somewhere here the widget has no information because i didn't set up my apple tv but as you can see here it's working and it's good if you use apple tv app the next thing that came with this update it's an update that has to do with search so if you use search a lot and you search for anything right so you can see that it's improved and you know you get contacts you get app store and you get in-app searches so that is improved search that came with this ios 14 developer beta 4 update and the next thing that i'm happy about if you go into the settings right you can see that we have a new menu right there and that is exposure notification and this is back with ios 14 developer beta 4 and basically if you are in a regional country that has 
an application that is served you know for exposure notification if you come into contact with someone this is uh, a function that you can be able to use now and you just simply have to download the application and set it up and you'll be able to turn this feature on and off and also if we go into uh, the settings app that we are in at the moment and then go to accessibility which is right here and then go to touch you can see that we now have 3d touch and haptic touch we can be able to turn it off or turn it on this time and on beta 3 this feature was actually disabled and it's good that you know this feature is back and let's just go back and yeah you can see that you know 3d touch is available and i'm happy that they've brought this feature back for the iphone 6s and for all devices that support ios 14 developer beta 4 so that is good and it's something positive here and also something else that's changed that uh, you might not be aware of it's something that you have to install certain application and that is picture and picture using the youtube app so if you play like a specific video on youtube right let's look for a video let's play this one for example right and then if we click share here and then click more you can see that you know we have a youtube picture in picture option and if you click that you can see that you know this pop-up shows up and you'll be able to basically change your playback speed and also you can change your resolution to 720p to 330p so and that is good and if you click the home button right there you can see that you know the video will continue to play picture in picture and if you'd like to see more information on how i did this using the youtube app at the moment then check out the link that i'll leave above this video now let's look at some of the fixes that came with this update so the first thing that um, was fixed with this update you can oh my device is a bit slow here i'm not sure what's up okay let me just let me just close some apps i'm not sure why it's a bit slow again so let's go into the app library here so something else that was fixed i don't know why it was a bit laggy i have to mention that yeah the device temperature is a bit high it's not normal and apparently when i updated on beta 3 it was good but on beta 4 the device did heat up uh, quite significantly so perhaps that's why it's a bit slow in response right so I don't know about that but as you can see app library that we have here has been fixed right so headers are now in the correct position and app all applications are showing up as they are supposed to and also something else that has been fixed if you use the app store and you were like searching up certain application instead of that app store crashing you can see that you can search for something right and you know the app store won't crash so that's a fix that came with beta 4 and something else that um, was fixed with this app update if you use facetime right now this is my test phone i apparently don't have facetime set up on this device but if you do use facetime and you are on a call using picture in picture function facetime no longer crashes and it has been improved and made a bit more stable so those are basically some of the main fixes and also new features that came with this update now let's look at some of the non issues that are still there with this update now first thing first i think if you're using this device on your main device that means you are getting a lot of emails so if you use the mail app on ios 14 beta 4 you will experience some issues when it comes to smtp mail connection so if your server uses single mail transfer protocol then you know you might not be able to get all your emails or synchronization might be a bit slow and also if you use maps with this update a lot you might find that your favorites might not show up and also if you use it quite heavily it might crash from time to time and as you can see some widgets here are uh, aren't showing up so a workaround for this is to basically just remove the widget and add the widget back and you basically see the widget information and there's a non issue when it comes to the weather widget here so the weather widget is loading data slower than usual so that is also some of the issues that are known with this ios 14 developer beta 4 update now when it comes to battery performance some users are actually reporting better battery performance when it comes to beta 4 already on twitter so that is good and if you do update to ios 14 beta 4 expect a you know slightly improved battery performance but not by a large margin and then when it comes to cpu gp performance i did run geekbench 5 scores so let's just see the scores that i got here if we go to the cpu section you can see that this is today august the 4th if you click there you can see that for single core i got a score of 477 
on iOS 14 developer beta 4 and for multi-core I got 945 now this is a bit low if you to compare to what I had last week uh, on beta 3 you can see that these are the scores that I had on beta 3 and you can see that iOS 14 developer beta 4 is performing a bit slow now if we also go to the CPU performance or the I mean the GPU performance right here the graphics rendering you can see that on beta 4 I have 1982 and then on beta three i had 2157 so it's very very low when it comes to cpu and gpu but again one of the main factors for that could be the device temperature that you know it heated up quite drastically after updating so hopefully when i do the follow-up video after a few days all these issues will be fixed and performance will be back to normal basically that's about it for me when it comes to ios 14 developer beta 4 i should say you know from time to time my device responsiveness is going up and down so i don't know i'll see when i do a follow-up video after two or three days and so that's about it for me guys when it comes to a small follow-up video of ios 14 beta 4 if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace